is a beautiful summer day here in New York City. I'm currently at Fort Greene Park in Brooklyn and I have a very exciting dinner planned for this evening. I'm going to a restaurant that has a burger that's not only regarded as one of the best in New York City, it's considered one of the best in the entire country. I'm talking about the restaurant Emily in Clinton Hill, Brooklyn. The surprising thing about Emily is it's pretty much a pizza restaurant that got really popular because of its burger. Now I would love to go there for pizza sometime, but today I'm all about the burger. Now it should be noted that there are actually two locations of Emily, the original here in Brooklyn and one over in the West Village, which I actually went to last week. Now one would think that the restaurants having the same name would be pretty much the same thing, but they're actually quite different. For one thing, at the Brooklyn restaurant, they serve round pies. In the West Village establishment, they serve Detroit-style pizza. When I ate at the West Village, Emily, I had the colony pizza with iso pepperoni, pickled chilies, and honey. I really enjoyed it, and the flavors were fantastic. The pie can also be found in the Brooklyn Outpost, but in a circular style. In fact, a lot of the pizzas actually vary between the two locations. To me, it seems like the West Village, Emily, shares more in common with Emmy Squared, which is a similar chain of restaurants created by the founders of Emily that offers Detroit-style pizza. Even though I enjoyed my meal at the West Village, Emily, I also feel like it's a restaurant suffering from an identity crisis as characteristics are borrowed from both Emmy Squared and the original Brooklyn location. Both establishments also have burgers that are labeled as the Emmy Burger, but in reality, they're two very different burgers. The one at the West Village establishment certainly receives a lot of high praise, but it's the one at the original Brooklyn restaurant that's always on the best burger list, it's the most famous one, and it's the one I've been lusting after. I have waited almost two years to go to this restaurant and eat this burger. It is now time to make my burger dreams come true. Let's go to Emily. Emily opened its doors in 2014 at a small space in Clinton Hill, Brooklyn. It was created by Emily and Matthew Highland. Their pizzas with unconventional toppings were a hit, but it was when the burger was added to the menu that really brought Emily into the forefront. The success led to the birth of Emmy Squared and the second location of Emily. When I got to the restaurant, I sat at the bar and I knew exactly what I was about to order, but I was surprised to see that one could add bacon to the Emmy burger. Being that it was my first time, I thought it was best to select the original burger without the added topping, but it's certainly something I want to try during my next visit. Not long after placing my order, my food arrived. The burger was beautiful and heavenly looking. It practically had a halo floating on top of it. It contained a patty made from Pat La Frida dry aged beef, sandwiched between a pretzel bun topped with Emmy sauce, caramelized onions, and cheddar. On the side were cornichon and fries. By the look of the burger, I thought the primary flavors would come from the toppings, but in fact, it was the bold taste from the dry-aged patty that came through first. Simply put, the beef was delicious and perfectly cooked, but it was the interaction between the meat and all the other components that made the burger into a masterpiece. The Emmy sauce was just plain awesome. While most of its ingredients remain a secret, it's known that gochujang and kewpie mayonnaise are some of the components that make up Emmy sauce. It has a sort of tang and spiciness to it that complements the sweetness of the onions and umami flavors of the cheese and meat so well. Plus, the pretzel bun was phenomenal and held everything together so perfectly. Still, this was one hell of a messy burger and the napkin certainly became my best friend over the course of this dinner. The Emmy burger is near perfection, but my only complaint is not about the burger, it's about the fries. They weren't bad, but they weren't anything special. It's just odd to see such a spectacular burger next to such average fries. It would be like me dating Margot Robbie. No one would buy the fact that a guy like me would be next to her. With the massive divergence in quality, the pairing just doesn't make sense. I was definitely expecting more, especially since the waffle fries I had from Emily's sister restaurant, Emmy Squared, were so insanely fantastic. Still, when it comes down to it, I could care less about the fries. I came to Emily for the burger and I was not disappointed in that regard. Costing $31, the Emmy burger isn't cheap, but it was so absolutely phenomenal that by the time the bill arrived, my apprehensions about paying so much were gone. Although later when I get my credit card statement and see the bill, that part will probably suck. Oh my, that burger lived up to the hype. On every level, it was extraordinary. It was one of the best burgers I've ever had in my entire life. I mean, every element of that burger was simply perfect. 
all the toppings complement each other perfectly. And most importantly, that beef patty was extraordinary. It had so much flavor to it. That dry aging really, really makes for a good burger. Is this my favorite burger? I would say Minetta Tavern, the Black Label Burger, is still my ultimate favorite. But this one, I mean, second favorite of all time, and that's still pretty damn good because burgers are literally one of my favorite things ever. $31 is pretty damn expensive for a burger, but if you're a burger fan, if you're a fan of food, it is worth every single penny. Without a doubt, the Emmy Burger lives up to the hype. I simply loved it. I thought it was extraordinary, and you know, I really gotta try the pizza there sometime. That burger made me so happy. I mean, this smile is gonna be plastered on my face for at least a few days. Damn, I wish I could eat like this all the time, but regardless, today was a great meal at Emily. The Emmy Burger was amazing.